Chef Zay. I'm Satish and I'm, I hope you've been enjoying my previous videos on how to cook. Today we will learn how to make shakshuka which is an amazing and easy dish to prepare at home with all the ingredients available in your fridge. The origins of shakshuka are quite old. Some say they come from the Ottoman Empire, some say they come from the Middle East. But today I'm going to teach you how to prepare an easy shakshuka. To start with we need eggs, preferably free range, freshly toasted cumin and crushed, cumin powder, turmeric powder, smoked paprika to add that extra flavor, cayenne pepper, chopped garlic, bay leaves, snub nose chilies which have been chopped, a handful of parsley chopped, some white onion chopped fine and in this case for this recipe I've used chickpeas. The chickpeas have been soaked overnight with a touch of baking powder and then boiled the next day morning again with a touch of baking powder just so that the skin becomes nice and soft. And of course the seasoning, pepper, freshly ground pepper, olive oil to cook and extra virgin olive oil to finish the dish and of course salt. So let's get going. So to begin with we'll heat a pan preferably a heavy bottom pan and also please bear in mind that this pan needs to go in the oven which means we need to preheat our oven. So today I've preheated the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and a pan which is hot we add some olive oil and we would start sauteing the onion and garlic The whole idea is to make a nice tomato base for this shakshuka dish. Now in many recipes it calls for peppers as well, green pepper, red pepper um, or some hot pepper. In my travels what I've realized is that many regions have their own variations for this shakshuka. So today is a little bit of a variation from what traditionally is made because I'm going to add chickpeas to this. So we have been sweating. I'm sure now you know the term sweating, which is letting the moisture come out of the onions for the past five minutes. At this stage, I will add bay leaf. And now we will add the snub nose chilies. Nice and colorful. Now, if you wish to add peppers, you can add peppers at this stage. Now this has been cooking for the past five minutes. I will add the tomatoes to this. I've taken about four large tomatoes, nice and ripe. The tomatoes are the key to the fish because that's bring, that brings the, the tanginess or the flavor to the dish. And now we will cook this on low medium heat. So this has been cooking now for the past five minutes. We're just trying to stew it. Now I will add all the spices except the crushed, toast, freshly toasted crushed cumin. I've added about, a, about one third cup of water to the stew so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Now we will add the chickpeas. I've added the chickpeas when I've cooked the tomatoes for another six minutes. The first time I ate this amazing shakshuka was with a very close friend of mine at a place called Dr. Shakshuka in Jaffa. And there, when you walk in, you should see all these pans hanging around and they do these millions of varieties of shakshuka. This is an amazing dish to eat either for breakfast or for brunch. So let's get on with it. So we are gently breaking the eggs. As you notice, I'm breaking the egg over an egg so that the shells don't fall inside. Again, it's a very simple dish to make. Kids love it. You can scoop it up with some Arabic bread, eat it as a family meal. So once you break the eggs, 
do not move the pan or move the eggs otherwise they will all break and now I will place this into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit so this has been sitting in the oven for the past seven to eight minutes and also depending on how much you want the eggs to be cooked now it's out and we will garnish with some beautifully toasted cumin some chopped parsley be generous this looks beautiful it needs to taste amazing too and a good generous glug of extra virgin olive oil so now to get the real taste of the dish we have a very tough judge who will tell us how it tastes are you ready to taste Ishan? yes I'm looking forward to it fantastic there you go it's very hot okay just be careful <laughs> and how is it amazing amazing would you want to eat some for your lunch yes please so let's taste it mm. the best part is the smoked pap paprika flavor which comes really very very well and the chickpeas adds another dimension to the shakshuka so what I want you to do now is cook it yourself taste and let me know how it worked out. So please don't forget to subscribe and comment and don't hesitate to add on any suggestions or any requests if you want me to cook a dish.